Don't invest into the ARK Innovation ETF. Do this instead. Hello and welcome. My name is Peter B. and I welcome you here at My First Million, where we are achieving our financial goals together. In this video, we are going to cover why you should not invest into the ARK Innovation ETF. And I will be giving you two recommendations, two possibilities, what you could do instead. But of course you can say, why should we listen to Peter B? Although I am in my mid thirties, I have been following the stock market already over 20 years now. And I have been investing into the stock market for over 15 years now. So with these experiences, I wouldn't recommend anyone to put a large amount of money into the ARK Innovation ETF. But before we go into the reason why, I want to just call out rule number one of investing. Rule number one is saying you need to be taking ownership of your own investments decision. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to Kathy Wood. Don't listen to anyone else. You can use us as a source of information, but in the end you need to analyze what is the right decision for your investment journey because no one will cover the risks, no one will cover the losses that you might potentially incur, either by listening to me or by Kathy Wood or anyone else. So now let's jump into the reasons why I believe you shouldn't invest into the ARK Innovation ETF. Reason number one is Kathy Wood giving you by herself directly. She's always saying her investments need time to develop. At least you need to have a five year time horizon. It will take around five years until the investment stories will play out. So it can take some time. Is this true? Let's see how her own ETF is answering this. The ARK Innovation ETF is already more than five years old. So you can see the performance of the ARK Innovation ETF or in short ARK K is doing over time. And you see, in a five year time horizon, at the beginning it was slightly outperforming the market. But only during the COVID and the consequent and the consequent tech boost, the ETF was able to significantly outperform the market. However, since the beginning of 2021, you can see that the ETF has been significantly underperforming the market. So during the whole five years, Time horizon, Kathy Wood is giving the answer by herself. She wasn't able to overperform or outperform the stock market. So other reasons why you shouldn't consider to put a large amount of money into the ARK Innovation ETF. If you take a look at her top 20 holdings, you can see there are a lot of very speculative stocks. Of course, there are some very big stocks like Tesla or Zoom. And I think Tesla is one of the major reasons why her performance wasn't too bad. But many other of her holdings are highly spe speculative. So before you start investing into this ETF, go through the top holdings, at least the top 20 holdings and go through company by company and ask yourself, do you really believe if these companies are first highly innovative? I guess mostly yes. But secondly, do you really think that these companies here that the ARK Innovation ETF is investing in are really going to be the industry winners? Because if you're doing stock picking into future technologies, you either need to distribute your investments into all the market players of that in new industry or you need to be able to really pick the future winners. So the question here will be, do you believe these are, will be the future winners or at least a, a huge chunk of them will be the future winners? Or do you really believe that Kathy Wood has the ability to pick the future winners? Then also, Another reason why I wouldn't recommend to invest into this ETF because I have seen Kathy Wood trading in and out of positions over and over. Over the last half year, over the year or so, she has been selling positions, she had been adding positions 
and this is something you don't want to see if you are investing to a very long term future. Basically what you want to see is that someone is betting on the potential winners and then hold them for a long period of time and see them win over time. But if you're trading in and out of positions, there's a huge risk there that maybe sometimes she will be picking the right winners, but she will be trading out again and therefore won't be able to participate on the huge upward potential. Then a another reason why I think it's a little bit tricky to invest into the ARK Innovation Fund is because it's highly pro-cyclical. You will see here a lot of people are buying into the ETF when growth stocks are performing very well in this area from year 2000, so after COVID hit. There was huge money inflow. So basically ARK is also by itself pushing up the share prices of its holdings. And then when after it peaked, if people are getting scared and pulling out money from the fund, the fund might need to be forced to sell positions again and therefore even pressure down the stock prices of its position. So instead of acting anti-cyclical throughout boom and bust cycles, the ARK Innovation ETF is likely be forced to act pro-cyclical. Then I highlighted some measures for this ETF. You see the inception date. So in 2014, it was the inception date for this ETF. So we already have some, some history there. So Kathy Wood by now should be able to have some track record to show for us. Another downside of the ETF with 0 0.75, this ETF might be quite a bit cheaper than mutual funds, but it's still much more expensive than broad market index funds. Then again, asset under management is quite significant. Usually when you invest into ETF, you want to have quite a big AUM. However, just if you are investing in, into some specific industries, you don't want to see too much of it because otherwise exactly this pro-cyclical effect could be kicking in. Then you also can see the weighted average market cap is 36 billion. So from all the companies that ARK is invested in, the mark average market cap is 36 billion. However, the median market cap is only 4 billion. So this means the majority of the investments done by the ARK Innovation Fund is done into small companies. And only like big companies like Tesla or Zoom are really pulling up the average. So these are several reasons why I would tell you be cautious before you invest big amounts of money into this ETF. Instead, I would recommend you to consider one of the two following alternatives. The first alternative could be that you just go through the list of the ARK Innovation Fund they've published all the investments on their website and go through the list and see what companies do you really believe in. Do you believe in Tesla? Do you believe in Zoom, in Exact Science, in Roku, Block and so on. And then just put a smaller portion of your money into your highest conviction bets, into the, those companies that you trust the most, that are both having the highest opportunities but also have the highest probability to execute well towards those opportunities. So this could be the first way, which is better than just directly by the ARK Innovation ETF. Then the second way is just allocate a small, a very small portion of your portfolio into the, this ETF. Don't put a large amount of money into it. Instead, just pick a slight, sliver of your money and put it into the ETF. And ideally, you will just always act counter-cyclical. When, when the ETF is down a lot, maybe you will put in a little bit money and then let it, but then let it run for a very long time. Don't pull out the money. But if you have additional money and you can then take again a very small portion of the 
of your new savings. And when the ARK Innovation Fund is crashing down again, put a small portion of your money again into the ETF. So that at least you are not going through those um, pro-cyclical waves, but are acting counter-cyclical. Of course, these are only my recommendations of what I would be doing. However, as said, don't forget rule number one. It's in the end your decision. I might be very wrong on that. And you would be missing out if you're not investing into the ARK Innovation ETF. So what is your take on this topic? Also, do you have any experiences investing into the ARK K? Please write and share with us in the comments below. Thanks a lot for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And especially, I look forward to seeing you winning financially.